From the racks of sacks, it's the best on wax. How about another golden holy dynamite tarot reading on the legends of tarot.com? Calm the heck down. How the heck are you, everybody? It is May 28th, Seiko Chakra Tuesday. Welcome to the program. You're on a, we're on a pre-record today. That's how we used to run this program way back in the day. And we're returning to it today. So just daily cards for everybody. Then we'll do, there's not too much going on in legend and folklore today. But we'll take a look. We're here for the people, right? So we're going to go ahead and cut cards for collective. These will be your daily readings. And everybody, if you want to jam out live later tonight on an Akash program, if you're seeing this, please let me know in the comments below. We could potentially go be live with a, with a Vibe Tribe program a little bit later, okay? And for those of you just joining us, if you ever want to see us live, mini readings, hit the bell uh, and the like button and then come and chill out with us and, and I can pull some cards personally for you. But thanks for being here. I want to wish everybody the best in peace, love, joy, abundance, prosperity in all things always be most excellent to one another everyone okay and let's have a look and see what the cards have in store for collective now for may 28th bottom of the deck we've got this card he's known as the prince of wands this is quick moving energy this is people into their projects doing going out and making in the world um it's not really like come hell or high water but this is like giving it all that it takes like settling for nothing less it's it could be actually for those people moving in those quick energies a very harmonious day to get work done to get deals done and to get things on the go right we're in a gemini season now so people are going to kind of settle in towards this new moon about feeling out the people that are close to them the people that they're like having to deal with you have to work with them you have to live with them you might have experienced like a, a little bit of a bumpy ride as of late but it's like it's calming down now and the Prince of Wands is still moving through, saying it's actually a great time through the next, today I feel in the next couple of days, for associations, okay? Meetings, meeting new people, that sort of thing. Because the intention isn't, I gotta meet somebody new. The intention is, I'm doing me, I'm out making my future in the world. It's great when I meet new people because it can lead to more things, okay? This is up for collective on this day as well. Take this uh, High Priestess into tomorrow, into the Wednesday as well. Things could be uh, being revealed to you either through spirit or through 3D reality, right? Through the, It's like this is knowledge coming to surface, coming to light. See how she's like stretched open that scroll and is like, look what I'm about to show you. Look how this is about to go down, right? So this is like these associations and also the planning stages of things in behind and associated with those meetings and those creations, the planning steps. So for you, some of you, it will be like, Making sure you're you're drafting that outline, writing that down, sketching that out, whatever it might look like for you, okay? Good day to get it done with the, with the High Priestess there. More messages now from the Higher Arcana on this day. Be a powerful day for most. Take this one. If you sense changes in the air, don't be afraid to change with it, all right? Going with the flow. Even if you have to go into a persona for a time, just to like experiencing what maybe group is experiencing, that sort of things, it has this... It's like, you're there, but you do it to your extent. You do it to your own end, right? Um, as long as you're not hurting anyone along the way. This card is here just to say, we can stay subtly chameleon-like to our best interest when we're having to go through these mirroring aspects of Gemini. And now this, where it's like, people have started to feel one another out. We have to be on guard for manipulative people as well with this. So this is more like being the chameleon so that you can outsmart the, the bad guy, right? The guy that would come to seek out and get karma chameleon, okay? More wands up here for the end of the reading now, everybody. This is the big five, okay? So there's a lot, intention, you know, suspect even, right? Things of that nature. We have to watch because uh, things that are not mirroring up nice. So this is like the Knight of Wands being in here, seeing this battle from up above. And the Five of Wands is up here just being like, this, these are the ground troops down here. Not knowing if they're going to make it, not like kind of like, you know, even younger people, there could be some generational things going on here <clears throat> where younger people are competing for positioning, you know. Uh, it's like, uh, you know, <clears throat> that lap where you earn your position in whatever you're doing. A lot of this going on. So if you're caught up in competition at this time, remember, step back, chameleon. It's going to serve you well. And I know Tuesday's already over, but for those of you watching later, these cards can carry over and apply for whenever the timing might be right, okay? So let's go into today. 
see what we can find out. We've been talking about the prestige of Gemini influencers uh, this month. So big day for the writers. This day back in 1779, Thomas More is born, right? And we said RIP in 1843 to Noah Webster. Some of you very well read people will know who that person is, okay? Then we, then we said hello in 1908 to Ian Fleming. All very like major literature based, like writing, all kinds of stuff going on there, okay? And then if books aren't your thing, this day back in 1929, this movie called On With The Show, it was the first uh, Technicolor, I don't even know if they called it Technicolor by then, it was the first um, color uh, picture with sound with people talking ever premiered and that went down in NYC, so that's good. On the other side of the continent, on this day back in 1937, they opened up the Golden Gate Bridge. Wow, and, and, and lots of inspiration and respect to all those even that gave their life for that bridge. Uh, and to make it happen, right? And for those of you, there, there's some really interesting things. People have jumped off that bridge and lived to talk about it. There's some interesting research for any of you that find that interesting. Hopefully, you're never in that place, but it's just like, wow, there's some real insight. Okay, then we went back up. We ramped up into the 1940s, and then we, could, we said uh, good morning or hello to Gladys Knight. A lot of you will know her from back in the uh, Motown days and the really so old rhythm and blues and souls days, right? Really good stuff. And then do you guys remember Robin Williams as Patch Adams? Well, the real Patch Adams, Hunter Patch Adams, was born on this day in 1944, which I wanted to give a special thanks to Hunter Patch Adams because recognizing even through that movie is how I associate with the healing power of benevolent laughter. Hey, let's keep it going on. They'll never stop smiling or giggling or doing whatever. Even if you have to tickle yourself like a like an orangutan, get it done. Get that in. Okay, but if you want love, okay, 1966. Remember this song? When a man loves a woman, can't keep his mind on nothing else. That was on the top of the charts. Uh, Percy Sledge back in 1966, okay? Everything else, oh, and just one last one on an RIP note, 1998. I'm still butt-chapped about this one. We said goodbye to Phil Hartman. Uh, you remember him from uh, movies and Saturday Night Live. Just benevolent laughter. You, you really want that benevolent. Like, there's some amazing people that you could check out. And just to say hello, became super woke, Phil Hartman. We will call it that on this day back in 1998. All right, everyone. So, yeah, on the pre-record, again, hit the dinger and the thinger. And leave a comment if you want to see a program go on for a couple hours tonight where we can just um, open up a frequency for our friends. Okay, thanks again for being here. Love you all and we'll see you next time.